Hi, this is Chris Schaefer from Paid Search Podcast. Today I'm going to walk you through setting up a new campaign, specifically a search campaign for your new account. So if you've never set one up before, you're not sure about uh, the settings and what to target, this will step you through the process. It's relatively simple. Let's get started with a brand new account that I've set up. And we have no campaigns, no history, nothing. It's a blank slate. Let's get started with new campaign. So we click the new cl new campaign button. Click new campaign. On the screen here, you're presented with a lot of prefabricated goals, sales, leads, website traffic. For the purpose of this discussion, which we are basing it on our nursing home campaign build that we did on our main podcast show, for the purpose of this, we're going to go with create a campaign without a goal. So you click that. Next is something you have to choose. You have to choose what type of campaign you want. For today's video, we will only be talking about search campaign. And then finally, we get to completely skip this step. It's not really important. It's not a requirement. So you can just hit continue. So on the corresponding page, after all that is done, you are presented with the basics of uh, the campaign settings. So let's name this one search. Next, we want to make it dedicated only to search. So we turn off the display network. We're going to leave the Google search partners turned on for now. Next, let's take a look at the additional settings. If you want to ensure that your campaign does not start without you being aware, what you can do is choose a start date way into the future. That's one thing you could do. Set it up for December 2020, now you will not accidentally start your campaign. That's not what I'm going to do. I'm just going to go ahead and let it stay for today. Um, but that's something that you could do if you want to make sure nothing goes live until you definitely turn it all on. The rest of the stuff we can leave as is. So if you've listened to our main show about the nursing home example campaign build, you know that what we're doing is a campaign focused entirely on Texas and cities in Texas. So for now, I'm going to leave it to the United States targeting, but I will address geographic targeting soon. Location options. One thing I definitely want to choose is expand that. And I only want to show to people in Texas. Now, the reason I've made this decision is because, as you have heard on the show, it's a limited budget that we're working with on our uh, campaign. So I want to make sure that uh, I don't spend money to people outside of my geographic area. That's a decision that I've come to with the client's permission, uh, this fictional client that we're pretending that we have. And uh, that's what I've decided that may or may not be right for you. Basically, I determine that based on how much budget and spend and limitations that we have. Next is languages. Let's leave languages set to English. Audiences we can leave alone. And then budget. Now, this is something I like to do. As you saw, I have a start date of today. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put one cent budget. This effectively means that the budget is not going to spend anything significant until I increase it, manually increase it. This is kind of my way of starting a campaign activated, but still paused. Next, we want to do manual bidding. If you've listened to the show any amount of time, you know that that's definitely something we don't want to do is automated bidding. We want to do manual bidding. So the trick is... There's no manual bidding here. It's kind of tricky the way that a new campaign is set up. So you have to click select a bid strategy directly. Once you click that, then you're presented with this drop down, and all of these are automated bid strategies. This is the only manual bid strategy that we have, and that's the one we want. We'll be making the bid 
choices ourselves. Next, we go with show more settings and you can see ad schedule set for all day and ad rotation set to optimize prefer best performing ads. That's all fine. And the rest of the ad extensions are all fine to stay for now. So I'm going to skip all that for now just to make things faster. We hit save and continue. So on this screen is when we are presented with the first ad group inside of our brand new campaign. For the efficiency of a build, I'm going to recommend that you do not actually start your keyword research or keyword uh, process at this point. What you need to do is essentially consider what your structure is going to look like. So easiest way to do this in the interface is to just name it something that is generic. So we're focusing on nursing home. And so I'm going to create a nursing home ad group. Next, I do a default bid of one cent. That effectively means I'm not gonna get any clicks for one cent. And then I'm gonna put a generic keyword, broad keyword, just for a holding place. Because at this point, I'm not really interested in creating a new um, set of keywords. I just wanna create my first ad group as a holding place as I continue to build this out. Okay, and then on the ads, let's completely skip that. That will be a separate video. And there we go. So as you see here, we are in the search campaign, nursing home ad group. And then in the nursing home ad group, we have one keyword. All right, so everything is eligible. You'll see up here at the top, I don't have a credit card in this account, so nothing's going to run yet. But uh, it is eligible to run the status, but it won't run for two reasons, the credit card and also the billing and the budget are both set to one cent. So it's effectively paused. All right, so this video is about how to set up a new campaign. Uh, so let's go back and make a couple of adjustments that we skipped in our original process of setting up the campaign. First thing I want to focus on is locations. So locations are here. You can see it's United States. There is a additional targeting that we want to do just to Texas. So I'm going to choose the locations tab here and I'm going to choose to edit using the blue button. And then I'm going to type Texas hit target and there we go now I'm going to delete United States and you delete it by clicking the X and it removes it from the interface here now we're targeting all of Texas for this campaign um, but what this client is interested in and this campaign is particularly for is actually Dallas so what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose Dallas Fort Worth Metro. You can see it's outlined like this. And so I would prefer to keep it focused on that area. So I'm actually going to remove Texas. And you can see it shows it on the map. This is a really wide area. If you're not familiar with the Dallas Fort Worth area, this is extremely large, several hours around this entire area. This is a little big. So instead, if we want to refine this a little further, what we could do is do a small radius. So you click the radius button, you type in Dallas and hit target. And you'll see it says 20 miles here. And when I hit target, it creates a 20 mile little bubble around that. Okay, well, 20 miles is a little small. So let's try that again. Let's remove that change that to 50 miles and type Dallas. Oh, let's try that again, Dallas, Texas and target. There we go. That's looking a little better. It's not quite as big as it was, but it does encompass the north, south, east, as well as Fort Worth area. So that looks pretty nice. Uh, I'm happy with that. Uh, of course, for as we turn on the, the keywords and the ads and everything, and we start to see that we really don't want clicks all the way up here on this far north, we might come back and readjust this to a smaller radius. But for now, 
Let's leave it there. You hit save. We've now addressed our geographic targeting in the locations. Next, because we're working with a limited budget, let's change the ad schedule. So on the ad schedule, I hit the edit button. And what I'm interested in is I'm going to go during waking hours. I think it's going to be most appropriate for this client to get clicks during waking hours, not at three in the morning, typically during times when they can answer the phone. So let's go to about, let's go from actually their office. Let's say their, their office opens about eight o'clock and it closes around 1800 hours. So uh, that sets it for all days. Now, if you want to remove Sundays, for example, let's say they're not open on Sundays, we would go to edit, we'd click the box next to it, go to edit, and then click remove. And it removes that day entirely. So now we're advertising six days a week from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. And you wonder, well, is that Dallas time because you're targeting Dallas? No, that does not always indicate your where your where your targeting does not indicate where your ad schedule is going to be determined. Um, it's down at the very bottom. If you look, this is Central Time, Central U.S. Time. So it is at the account level is what our ad schedule is currently set for. So it's important to note that. Next, let's go and set some audiences. If you're not familiar with audiences, I would encourage you to go listen to the Paid Search podcast and search for one of our audience discussions. So for now, I'm not going to explain what they are, but I'll talk about how to add them. So essentially, you click the Add New Audiences. Make sure that you're on the Observation tab, or radio button, I should say, and then Browse. Once you click Browse, you can scroll down to go to In Market and for the purpose of making this short and sweet, I'm going to just click each of the major in-market market categories. But there are other things that you can add. You can choose uh, detailed demographics as well. And you can also expand these and get some subcategories. But I'm not going to go into that right now. This is just basically how to add it. That's how you add it. You hit save. And now, as long as you're under observation, you have additional data that you can gather using the audience. Okay, so that is audiences. We've looked at the settings. We've looked at the locations. We've set up the ad schedule. And that about covers the basics of how to create the settings and build out the search campaign. One final thing that I'll say and again, check out our main show, Paid Search Podcast, so that you can decide how to best complete and build all of your ad groups. But my suggestion, number one, is to use this. If you remember, we have one keyword in this one ad group. It's just a holding place. So basically what you can do is you can check the box next to it, go to edit, and then copy. It's off the screen just a little bit, but then you'll get a little pop-up here saying it's been copied. Uncheck that box and you'll have a little paste button right here. Hit paste. And it gives you an option to paste one ad group into your campaign. So now what you've done is you've duplicated this one ad group and you can do this multiple times. Let's say you want a total of, you've decided that you're gonna use six ad groups. So you can do the same process and copy two at a time. So copy and paste like that. So now with the click of a button, we are able to duplicate this another two times. So now I've gone from having um, one ad group to having four. So the process from here would be the keyword research, which we'll have in a separate video and how to choose keywords and and adding them to each of the campaigns. But that's the easiest way to begin fleshing out and building is to start grouping these. So nursing home might be this one. And then the other one might be in home care. Another one might be senior living apartments. 
and you would create these by groups. These would all be groups. So nursing home, maybe this one instead would be nursing home Fort Worth. And then we might create another one, nursing home Dallas, something like that. So that's the, that's the process to set up the campaign, change the settings, change the targeting, and look for other videos about how to write ads. And also we'll be talking about doing keyword research, uh, remarketing, and uh, other interesting topics about how to get your campaign as successful as possible and understanding the Google Ads interface. Thanks again for watching. My name is Chris Schaefer from the Paid Search Podcast. You can subscribe and listen and get more detailed information about Google Ads by going to paidsearchpodcast.com.